All right, so we've got our git bash terminal, we've got our sublime text editor. Now we just need Python. So head over to python.org. Now, if you're on a Mac or a Linux, Python already comes with your computer, so you're ready to go. Uh, for us Windows users, click on this downloads tab, and you can see it's version 3.7.4 right now. If that changes by the time you watch this video, if it's a different version number, that's totally fine. Just download the latest version. And uh, as long as it's not version four, if it's version four, that's a major update. And so it may be a little different, but it's likely years until we'll see version four. You, you might see version 3.7.6 or version 3.8.2. It'll still be a version three. So go ahead and click that to download. Now, even if you've downloaded Python and installed it already in the past on your computer, I recommend that you do this again anyway. And I'll show you why in just a second. So it's a very quick download. You can see it's already done. So let's go ahead and click it and run it. Well, I've already installed it. So let me just uninstall it very quickly. Now, if you already have Python on your computer, I recommend you do the same thing, just like this. Run this program, click the uninstall button and uninstall it. And I'll show you why in just a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video while this uninstalls. Uh, we'll pick it up just as soon as we finish installing and uh, go from there. Okay, it's just finishing up and you'll notice here, it says 32-bit. Now, everybody has a 64-bit computer and you probably do too, but we want the 32-bit version of Python for a lot of different reasons that we don't really care about, but it's the standard version that you want, even if you have a 64-bit computer. So, all right, so this has gone and finished uninstalling, so we can close this. And we just want to, I'm gonna download it again just because it's so quick. Run this file again once it's been uninstalled. Or if this is a new installation for you, you won't have to go through that step we just went through. So this is why I recommend that you uninstall it if you've already got it on your computer. This little guy right here at the bottom, this add Python 3.7 to path. Notice it's unchecked by default. So if you installed Python in the past, you probably didn't even notice this little guy down there because whoever really reads this stuff, you just click the defaults usually, right? But it's super, super important that we add Python to the path. And on Windows, the path means we can run Python from anywhere on our computer, which is what we want. Otherwise, you just have to run it from like the Python directory and that's no good. So like I said, chances are if you'd installed this in the past, you missed this and you didn't check it. So that's why I recommend you uninstall and reinstall. If this is your first time installing, just go ahead and check this little box. Make, the, make sure this is checked. It's super, super important. And then next, just click install now and boom, 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 it goes ahead and installs. I'll go ahead and pause it here for just a second while it finishes, finishes doing its thing. Okay, so we're done. Python has been installed, setup was successful, and we're ready to go. So that's all there is to it. Very, very simple. Like I said, if you're on a Mac or Linux, you probably already have Python installed. It comes installed uh, standard. It may not be the latest version, but we don't really care as long as it's a version three point something, you're fine to use that. Doesn't make much of a difference. So just go ahead and use whatever's on your computer. For us Windows people, our setup is successful and we're good to go. So in the next video, we'll jump in and set up our virtual environment, install Django and uh, get going.